Welcome back, Christian soldiers, to Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition, the show that calls for Christian soldiers to wake up and fight evil. We were talking before the break of all the, the evilness that is on our television being shown to the young minds of our Christian soldiers. I mean, we live in a country where the, the, the top-rated shows amongst adults are about uh, mafia men and, 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 uh, and desperate whorish housewives and sodomites. I mean, a show about two men raising a child is the number one show in the country. Meanwhile, the, the Honorable Pat Robertson's audience is dwindling by the boatloads. Well, that, that's another topic for another time. We have some callers who have been on hold since before the break who want to chime in. So, caller, you're on the air. Uh, Willie? Yep. All right, well, well, first of all, I just want to say praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Amen, brother. What's your comment? Well, uh, earlier on you was talking about, about Barney and them tele, tubby television mm -hmm. thingies. Yeah. Well, there's something else that's gay on TV that's always overlooked. and well, That's Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. I mean, here are two supposedly grown men who live together and share a bed not more than one foot away from each other. Oh, and at times, Ernie crawls into Bert's bed to eat cookies. So don't get crumbs mm -hmm. in his own bed. I, mean, I, I just don't think this is a good image for our children to be watching. I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, well, first of all, brother, I want to thank you for coming in and, and spotting on this and, and calling in about this. You see, I have thought about this for years, and I have come to see right through this conspiracy. You see, all those years ago when Sesame Street first got put on the air, you know, they were trying to instill a seed in the mind of our young Christian soldiers that two men conjugating together is not amoral but normal. And now all these years later, all these gay marriage bills are on the table. You think it's a coincidence? I don't. I can see right through it. And you need to wake up, Christian soldiers. Next caller, you're on the air. Am I on the air? You certainly are, sugar. Well, first of all, praise the Lord and pass the ammo. Oh, amen, sister. Now, I hadn't watched Sesame Street in years. I mm -hmm. usually sit my children down in front of the tube so I can go do some cleaning, gardening, shopping. You know, like a good Christian woman search. Anyway, the Walmart, there was this boycott in front of it yesterday, so mm -hmm. I sat down and I watched Sesame Street with him, and I was very disturbed by the character of the Count. I mean, my children were watching a vampire. Why would anyone want their child to watch and learn from a soulless, satanic, undead vampire? Well, I want to thank you very much for calling in on this, sister, because this brings up to some, me to something that is just pure evil to the minds of our young Christians. And that is the occult. And that is why I do not, I do not allow my children to watch Sesame Street. And I do not read Harry Potter books. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to read a couple of quotes here I found from a website in New York City. This is off of a news website. This first one is from a girl in the great state of South Carolina who is all of six years old. Hermione is my favorite because she's smart and has a kitty. Jesus died because he was weak and stupid. I'm going to pause for a moment while you reflect on the fact that that's from a six-year-old girl. And once again, folks, there was a conspiracy from the get-go. And I'm going to read a quote now from the author of those devil-loving books. These books guide children to an understanding that the weak, idiotic Son of God is a living hoax who will be humiliated when the rain of fire comes and will suck the greasy uh, phallus of the Dark Lord while we, his faithful servants, laugh and cavort in victory. You think I'm lying? You think I'm making this up? You can go check this out yourself. All right? I'm going to put a link on lordandammunition.com, but if you want to find it out... Just search Harry Potter on this news website. It's www.theonion.com. This is a sad time in America. Be afraid, folks. Be very afraid. Well, I've just been handed an announcement on a different note that I'd like to read. This Saturday morning at Morning View Baptist Church, Miss Anita Rayburn will be doing a charity gun cleaning. So hunting season's right around the corner, and I know you're going to want to get your guns clean. Well, my producer is saying it's time to go to a break, so we're going to take a short break, but stay on the line, callers, because when we come back, we're going to get into such topics as uh, uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy as an interracial couple, mm -hmm. uh, SpongeBob SquarePants as a walking contraceptive, and worst of all, Dora the Explorer being Mexican. We'll be right back, and in the meantime, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. 